am heading to the Asian supermarket. I'm heading to grab some Korean food and I'm gonna stop by Trader Joe's because I have been dying to try the new kimbap at Trader Joe's, but I just, I think I kind of chose the worst day to go. I think it's gonna be really busy today. We're doing a comfortable running errands kind of day. For my shoes, I'm just gonna wear my Uggs, which are in the garage. And then for my bag, I am wearing my brand new Freya bag. You guys know I've been obsessed with this one. I literally talked about it forever. It is such a classy over the shoulder bag. Also, Freya was so nice. As you guys know, they're one of my subscribers. It's a small business. It's run by women. It's Asian owned. It's everything about them is amazing. They were actually nice enough to give you guys 15% off for this bag. It's 15% off with the code Kim Tai, or there's a link in the description bar down below. This is not sponsored by the way. They literally just gave you guys a 15% off discount code, which is extremely nice of them. I think I'm gonna do Korean food first because I'm pretty hungry and then we'll have energy. Plus, you shouldn't go grocery shopping hungry because I feel like that's gonna be really bad. Hi friends, it's been a few hours later and I didn't get a chance to pick up the camera. It has been crazy, you guys. I drove to the Asian store. They're closed today. Don't know why. So now I'm like a little bit panicking because tomorrow I told Michelle that we would have a hot pot. So I'm trying to find places that have Napa cabbage. I think I can go to Gardena's, which is a Mexican grocery store and buy octopus there. And then I think I can get fish here at Stater Brothers and I can get shrimp with the head on at Gardena's. So I think I'm gonna have to go through those two places to get everything. And I believe Stater Brothers has Napa cabbage. It was just, I wanted to go to this Asian store because everything was portioned out in containers. So it was gonna be so easy. There there was gonna be no prep, but it's okay. We have to make things work today because it's just not happening. Also, today is Friday, so traffic was crazy. I ended up not going to Trader Joe's. It's been a whole fiasco. I've been all over the place, you guys. I just know all the stores are gonna be completely busy. I also wanna grab more gift cards. The other day I came here and got 10 gift cards, you guys. The lady at the cash register literally was like, oh my God, this is like the most she's ever seen. But I'm gonna have to go grab, grab more gift cards because Corey, who is probably like one of our favorite people ever, he is so amazing. He owns a small business where he will come and pick up your trash for you, like recycling or say like you have a party at your house and you have like 10 bags of trash. You just put it in your driveway. He'll come pick it up in his truck and he will throw it away for you. Or say you just moved in and you have all of these boxes you need to recycle. He'll come pick up the boxes and recycle it for you. He is so amazing. He also also picks up big pieces of furniture if you're like getting rid of patio furniture or maybe like an old couch or whatever it is he'll come to your house pick it up and just take the stress off of your shoulders he's amazing we've known Corey now for like two years I get a lot of PR packages and for some reason waste management won't give us another trash can for recycling we've been calling and calling and half the time they don't answer it's so hard to reach out to them but we just have Corey come up and he takes all of the PR boxes and he recycles it for us so we've become pretty close friends i'll list his information down below if you guys live in the area or maybe close by he'll drive to you and help you out with that but i'm gonna go grab Corey a gift card i was kind of debating what to get him to be honest for christmas but i think i'm gonna get him a gas gift card because he drives a lot for work from tuesday to saturday he is a full-time plumber and then he does the recycling and the trash thing pick up on the weekend. So he's a really hard worker. I, I know I'm I, I know this is so long, but I genuinely love him. I love supporting small businesses and I love nothing more than getting to know business owners. But he used to do this with his son, but I guess his son now decided to do something else. So it's just Corey. But yeah, he's also a good plumber if you guys need someone to come and do your plumbing at your home. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Seder Brothers. I just wanted to give you guys an update because I wanted to vlog everything I was doing, but <laughs> it, it's not going as planned. Okay, this is what I have so far, we ended up getting a gift card for Corey. So I'll put that up there. And then we have lemons, green apples, pears, celery, cabbage, Napa cabbage. We're gonna do cucumbers where all this is for juicing. I grab a banana and then we also grab some squash. I think I'm gonna make soup when I get home. The king crab legs look so good today. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Okay, so there's fish and shrimp here, but I think I'm gonna go to Gardenhouse for shrimp because they have shrimp with the head on and this doesn't taste the same, but I will grab the fish. And then they have some really good snow crab as well today. Those look great.
I'm grabbing freshly made tortillas. They're so, so good. I got all of my seafood. And then look, you guys, I found some spare ribs. I found some chicken feet. I didn't know Cardenas had chicken feet. And then I found some pork feet as well. This is my favorite part about going to Cardenas is they have freshly made tamales. So this is sweet corn. This is chicken, jalapeno cream cheese, beef and red sauce. And this is chicharron and red sauce. I've never had that one before. So I'm gonna grab us some sweet corn and some chicken. I got tamales. I got beef and red sauce and sweet corn and one pollo. And then I got the Mexican pastries. Look at this one, you guys. This sprinkle is my favorite in the entire world. If you guys ever see these sprinkles on any dessert, please think of me. It's my favorite. Is it good, babe? Oh, the inside is soft. Yeah, I like it. I think it's good. Oh, the inside is soft. Mm. Do you like it? I love it. It's not too sweet. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. Mmm. I want to buy that from now on. Wow. Gotcha. I also got Oma a bag. I got Michelle's mom a bag because every morning. With well, some coffee is really good. Yeah. So every morning, Oma eats a pastry or something sweet with her coffee. So I got her a bunch of it. With well, some coffee. I should have gotten her more of the cookies. Mmm. Mmm. My favorite one, I don't know if you saw them there. It's like a round one, but that's pink. It's like a round pink one. I'll have to look at my camera because I filmed oh. it a little. Yeah, it's a round pink one. And then they also have. The same one, but it's like a yellow one. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Those are my favorite. I want some tamales. I think this is the only pollo. You want to split a pollo? Uh, I'll take like a bite. Tamales, pollo. Here you go. Thanks, baby. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Bomb. Gardenas actually makes really good tamales. Oh my god, that's spicy. Mmm. That's really good. Wow. Chicken is my favorite. Mmm. Mm hmm. I think I went too late, you guys, and everyone bought the chicken. If anything, I'll go earlier next time. It's just missing like a green salsa. When I was buying the pastries, I looked up and I saw this and I just had to buy it. What are they called, babe? Cantoritos? Um, no, cantoritos are, I don't know if those are classified as that, but cantoritos are the ones that we got. Oh, they're called, well, they're clay cups. Yeah, they're just Taza cups. de... Taza de barro. Yeah? Chorreada. So I, they're for hot chocolate? <laughs> no, you can use them for anything, but oh. we use them for hot chocolate. Oh, okay. Okay, so they're like clay pot cups. I love them. I think they're beautiful. And I love that the shiny part is on the inside too, so it's easy to clean. But then I was like dying over the drippingness. Yeah, we use them for like Mexican hot chocolate or champurrado sometimes. Ooh. Just hot drinks in general. At least we do. They're so cute. Pretty sure you can use them for anything, but that's what we use them for. Mm, I'm obsessed. So I got two of those. And then I was able to find everything pretty much at the store. I'm gonna eat this tonight as I watch Taylor Swift again for the like third you know time. These are pomegranate fresh already like taken apart, putting in in cups. Yeah. These are so expensive, you guys, but they're like a nice treat once a year. They're very expensive. I know Costco has them sometimes, but I haven't been able to find them. But I love pomegranate seeds. I just never had that before. You should try it. I just, one in time. um, it's really good. Okay, I'll save you one. I'll put it in the fridge. And then I got everything for Hot Pot tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow morning I have to go to the Asian store real quick because I have to get meat and like fish cake and stuff. But I think I got everything. It's time. I'm going to juice right now. I'm so, so excited. This is my Nama juicer. You guys know. Wait, where's my. I couldn't find my cord. I'm gonna go get my cord. This is my Nama juicer. It's the best thing that has ever happened to me. We bought this juicer when I turned 30 because it's all I wanted. Back in October, when I turned 30 years old, I wanted to start juicing. It's really helped Carlos and I, and juicing, juicing has been amazing. We also eat a lot of veggies and fruits because the fibers in vegetables, 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 veggies, the fiber in veggies is actually really good for you. That's the only like, I would say con about juicing is that all of the hard things that come out of it, that holds a lot of fiber. So what we do is we let it dry, we pop, pop it in the oven and then we blend it and it becomes a powder. So we actually consume 
every part of everything that we put in this machine. I know a lot of people will take the extra stuff without all the juices and throw it away, but I highly encourage you guys to let it dry for a little bit, pop it in the oven. There's a bunch of recipes online that you can look at to find out what temperature, bake it and then make it into a powder. And then you can put that on top of your acai bowl, you can put that on top of your oat milk, you can put it into your smoothies when you blend smoothies the next day. You can do anything with it. You can fully cut consume everything that you juice, which is cool. So we have cucumbers. I love these big ones. These are great for juicing, but to eat with food, I love the Persian or Mexican cucumbers. They're like mini ones and they're very crunchy, but these have just more water in them. So it's great for juicing. So I use, let's do three of these. I have green apples. Green apples are our favorite to chew, juice with. And then pear just adds a really nice sweetness. So we're gonna do three pears, four apples, four green apples, and then three cucumbers. And then we also do an entire Entire, actually, will I do an entire bag today? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe half of the celery. And then Carlos and I also do cabbage. A lot of people don't know about this. Cabbage is actually really good for the lining of your stomach. And the reason that I know this is because Carlos had an incident just a few months ago where it was called an acute gastritis attack. And basically it's when your stomach lining is very, very fragile. So in order to repair it, we found this recipe online and it literally, I'm not even kidding, really helped and he hasn't had it since and he obviously has been eating pretty healthy too and just really focus on his lifestyle and making better decisions. If you have any stomach lining issues, obviously we're not doctors, so please talk to your doctor and do your own research. But if you wanna repair your stomach lining or just have, just kind of repair like your digestive system and your gut health, this is so good. You get cabbage. I'm gonna probably use half of this and cut it. A lot of people will also boil potatoes and drink the potato juice. Surprisingly, that's what we learned because I did so much research when Carlos was going through this minor health issue is potato juice also really helps with your stomach lining. But I cut half of this and I'm gonna juice it today. And cabbage juice is straight up nasty. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. It tastes similar to celery juice, but in order to make it bearable and taste good, you wanna add the cucumbers, the green apples, the pears to have better flavor. Sometimes we'll also add carrots. Not all the time, but sometimes. I don't know if Carlos loves to carrot so much. Also, I like to keep it in the green family. I feel like when juice is green, it makes it more fun to drink. Drink. Another thing I want to try starting maybe next month is taking a shot of lemon juice, cayenne peppers, olive oil, and black pepper every morning on an empty stomach. I heard that that's really good for your stomach. And then I did my research and I found out or I learned that cayenne pepper on an empty stomach actually wakens up your stomach and it makes digesting easier. So that might be something good for me who like I have digestive issues. We're going to juice and I'm going to show you how amazing this Nama juicer is. This is not sponsored. We bought this with our own money. It is quite an investment, but the best juicer you will ever see on the market. So I kind of just let the juicer do its thing. It's also not as loud as our last juicer. I feel like our last juicer was incredibly loud, you guys. It sounded like a legit car machine. It was just so crazy. Also, if you're good at eating veggies and fruits, go ahead and eat them, because I feel like the fiber in them is really good too for you. However, for example, Carlos hates cabbage. He absolutely hates cabbage. He cannot eat them. Like, he thinks they taste gross. However, he'll drink them in a juice. So if you're like in that situation where like, like you can't really eat cucumbers but you'll drink it then I would definitely juice I switched out this because I have so much juice coming I also love this lid and this I'm sorry I'm like talking about this so much but I genuinely think this is like the best thing that we've ever bought it's also so easy to clean it doesn't come with like a million pieces it's just like if you're looking for a juicer I'm just recommending this to you okay 100% 
highly recommend. It's amazing. This is empty. There's nothing inside other than just like scraps on the side and stuff. And there's no juice in here. You see? Completely empty. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cabbage in so I can show you that you can juice cabbage. Now if you guys don't have a juicer, you can just blend the cabbage with your regular blender and then you want to put it through. I don't know what that thing is called. It's like a little thing where you put and it'll catch all the gunk, but the juice will go through. You guys, what is it called? It's like a colander, right? Oh, I don't, there's like a name for it. So I'm gonna put two in there, close the lid. By the way, if this lid is ever open, the machine doesn't turn on. So say it's like open and you're around your kids, the machine doesn't turn on, which I really like. You can also reverse the spinning, by the way. But right now, since the lid is open, it's off. I don't know, I like little safety things like that. Cause sometimes you're doing like a million things in the kitchen and you forget. There's also a hole up here if you wanna add more stuff in. And then the cool thing that I forgot to mention, honestly, this sounds like a sponsorship, but it's not, I promise but if Nama you want to sponsor a girl let me know. Another thing I love about this juicer is that one it juices obviously two it can also make smoothies so it acts as a blender as well for your smoothies and three it also makes sorbet so if you're looking to make like fruity sorbet you can also make it with that but yeah I'm gonna bleh, or I'm gonna juice the cabbage now. Let me close this lid so I can show you how much juice comes out of it. So it's doing its thing also you can fit like a pineapple in here or something. So I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna put the rest of the cabbage in. This is half of a cabbage, by the way. I only cut half of it and I put it in. Okay, there's nothing left in the blender. And this is how much juice we got from half a cabbage. Ooh, there we go. It's still coming. I still see, oh, that's it, nice. Okay, I'm gonna mix this with this. You can also do it all together, but I don't know why today I did separately. And then I will pour them into these containers. These containers are glass, and I got them from Amazon. It was a pack of six. I'll link them down below. They have like a bunch of options on Amazon. You don't have to buy glass. We just like glass instead of plastic. I'm gonna have to get a few more though, but they're really good quality, and then you just store them in the fridge. We usually like them after doing it for a while now. We realize that like day, okay, so I'm doing it tonight, and. Carlos and I will drink it tomorrow morning so that's one and then he'll drink it the morning of so that's two usually by the third day I think like three days max after making it would be good because he drinks it in the morning all the time so this should last I have this little funnel thing that I bought from Ikea it was like a few bucks I usually do it in the sink for the first one just because it's just so much easy peasy you can also do middle, little like mini shots. Okay, you guys, we have all the bottles. So we have this for tomorrow, and then we have this for the day after, and then this for the day after. Three days for the both of us, perfect. I also have some left over. Oh, there's some in there, we don't wanna waste that. Another pro thing that I love, I noticed with my other juicer, the part where the juice would come out was always open, but this has a lid which you can open or close, and it also has a suction thing in there, so it really keeps all the juice in there so you don't have a big mess. So it's not messy. See, it's easy, it's quick to clean. Whoever invented this, by the way, this was made in Korea. And if you know anything about Korea, they make some of the best stuff ever. So I'm not surprised that this juicer is like one of the best. I haven't made a smoothie or a sorbet yet because we obviously bought this for juicing. I have a little here that I'm going to try. Mm, this one is so good. You have to add the apple and the pear. I promise you, it will eliminate the taste of celery and cabbage. This juice is so good for you, and I love the color. You can obviously still taste like a little bit of grass from the celery and the cabbage, but it's not bad. I think if you want to elim eliminate it altogether, I would add maybe two or three more apples and two or three more pears. I think it would make it so good. You wanna be careful with juicing though, because I believe from my research I did, if you juice certain things too much, they're really high in sugar, and that can also contradict what we're trying to do here, which is obviously live a healthier life and be, you know, just feel healthier inside. Keeping with the cabbage and the celery and just eliminating the fruits a little bit, it's really, really good, you guys. Cheers, highly recommend. And this color is just beautiful. Highly, highly recommend trying celery and cabbage. It's gonna taste like
So at first, like straight up butthole, but it's good for you. You'll get used to it. Oh no, what's on my face? So red there. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna watch the Taylor Swift Eras Tour film again on Amazon Prime before it's completely over. I rented it for, what, 20 bucks? And I have 48 hours to watch it, so I'm, I think I'm on my last, like, few hours. Hello, friends. Hello. I found Michelle in front of our house. <laughs> So cold. <laughs> we are eating hot pot. I'm so excited we're filming a mukbang right now. I just went to grab water spinach. They had it in stock today and I was so excited. Look how good this water spinach looks, you guys. We also got mushrooms and Napa cabbage. Napa cabbage. <laughs> we also have fish. And then for seafood, we're doing fish cake and then a bunch of other thingies. Mussels. And then we have meat and then we have shrimp. Yeah. Mom, what happened to a quarter of the package? Is it, was it not? <coughs> oh! No, it's because it's big. <laughs> you know I can't do math. <sighs> nice. 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 I'm gonna start seasoning the broth, but we have everything plated. It looks so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at all the seafood. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go over here and start working my magic because the broth is the most important part of the hot pot. Oh, thanks, Mom. She's the best. She's number one. Thank you. I like being number one. You know what I want to watch again? Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. But the act, now that I'm like... Re Same! Oh, you're in... Oh my god. Let's do it. Okay, then we should do it. Dear John can wait. We know it. <laughs> what, he doesn't end up with her? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, right? That's me! That's all I remember. <laughs> Although I was very upset that they didn't end up together. I don't get it. He went away. He went to war. And he came back and she was married. And she was married okay. because... But I then what was... Had... I think it had to do with the fact that it was like a child, uh, it was her family friend, mm -hmm. but he had cancer or some illness. And I think Channing Mary, Tatum had cancer? Oh, no, mom. Oh. Her, remember the guy that had the kid who had a- So um, what's the whole movie about? It's just they fell in love. They fell in love, but then he went away. Something about like writing to each other. They used to write to each other. And then the letters stop. Yeah, because she eventually just had to marry him and she couldn't face telling John. But I think they got married because something, I'm, I'm sure it has to do with like, so they don't end up was better or something. They don't end up together. Okay, and then am I getting the whole story wrong? Does he die in the end or am I making that? Up, Channing I? Tatum? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay, maybe we should watch it. Because why did I think he got, like, bombed? What? At the end and, like, fell to the ground. Or was that when he went to go visit her? No way. Yeah, I don't remember it too much. You know, the last time I made this was when I surprised you with the dough. I know. And you didn't even get to eat it. I was telling my vlog, <laughs> we didn't even get to eat it. We didn't. Because you were just so excited. Yeah, you were too nervous. And then I got too excited. And the broth was so oh good that God, day. Oh my so freaking good that day. I just love that. When we get excited, we, we All like... we do is echo each other. Yeah, we so Oh my God, oh my God. So good, so good, Mom. <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> this stuff is really good, friends. If you ever see it at the store. Focus, man. It's for hot pot, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is my secret ingredients. Focus, man. Not so <laughs> secret anymore. <laughs> oh no, I'll share with you guys. <laughs> this is, I'll link it down below. It's for seasoning boom boy, but it's got a vibes to it. Got a vibe? Now be careful, this stuff has a lot of sodium. This is the seasoning people use to make like pho and boom boy, but this is boom boy, mom. Oh. I have the pho one too. Oh, they're like different ones. Yeah, the brand is really good. Oh, cool. I knew I was missing something. This is should we, sh Sorry. Okay. Should I get water on the side just in case it like boils up too salty over time? Oh, yeah, sure. Michelle's gonna try. It's more hot. We got it, Anthony. Be careful. Oh my gosh, it smells good. Gotta go. <laughs> No. You always do the same. Gotta be go. Mom, be careful, okay, mom? <laughs> you got it, mom? Yeah. Ooh, that was hot. It's hot? It's hot? Yeah. It's the pot lopsided. Yeah. <laughs> it, 
It's the cutting board? The cutting board. Oh, the cutting board's lopsided. It literally slants. Hey, I think it's too high. I agree. Okay, we gotta lower it. We gotta lower it. Okay, now where do you want her? Be careful, mom, okay? The broth is good, though? Yes. Okay. It's perfect. Gosh. Which side are you? It doesn't matter, Mom. Is it our right? Yeah. We huh? can do right. Yeah, we should. Yeah, do yeah. Our right. we, okay. okay, we'll do our right. Can you reach, Mom? Mm hmm. Did you put some water spinach in there? Not yet. Here. Thank you. Oh, this is going to be so good. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The water spinach. Okay. Some napa in there. You let me know if you need anything, Mom. Okay. Some mussels. Want some of this? Oh, yeah. Let's just split that up because we love that. Where's the fat one you wanted? Oh, no. I don't know where it is. Is this leveled, Mom? Be careful. There we go! There you go. We've been thinking about this all week. Good idea with the long chopstick, Mom. Yeah! <laughs> Guys! Guys, is there? Ooh. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I forgot Riley looks under us. I was like, Mom, there's an animal. Yeah, Riley's sleeping under us. Ooh. It's spicy, Mom. Mmm. Yeah? Mmm. Yes. I forgot mushrooms. I couldn't find the ones you liked. It's okay. I love all mushroom. Mm. Wow. I'm like putting in some that you can't reach over here. No. Yeah. Have some noodle. I just got some. You got, oh my yeah. god. They're so good. Really? Wow. It didn't cost us that much to do this at home, honestly. I think it's more expensive going out. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I definitely think it's more expensive eating out. Mmm. Mmm. The noodles are perfect. Good. Very good, Mom. <laughs> it's not a vibrator. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so I found this for Casper for Christmas, and it came later than it said it would, but it just came this week. And as you guys know, Casper loves balls. He loves playing with balls. He loves playing fetch. He loves throwing mm -hmm. them. He brings them to you when mm -hmm. he really likes you. Um, you guys know he's obsessed with balls. I found this ball. He's already interested. Oh my God, I found this ball on Amazon and it shakes and it bounces by itself. Mm -hmm. So now Casper doesn't need anyone to throw the ball for him yeah. and it's gonna keep him occupied. And, and he, it's rechargeable. Yes, and you can charge it. I'll link it down below if you guys have dogs that like balls. Look at him. Okay, ready, Mom? Yeah. Maybe he likes the human interaction. <laughs> Getting places. Does he like it? I think he has to understand it first. He he played with it for a little bit. Casper. Oh my goodness, he doesn't care for it. I think Riley. I think it's just gonna get a little used to. You're gonna have to like show him how to. He like bites it and puts it back down. Like
Why does it, why does it, why does it do that? <laughs> Hello, Maxi Poo Poo. Babe, look at Maxi Poo Poo's ears. Maxi Poo Poo. Hi, Maxi Poo Poo. Hello, Maxi Poo Poo. Hello, Maxi Poo Poo. Oh my god, hi, Maxi Poo Poo. We forgot to tell you guys. This is the newest member to our family. I'm just kidding. Whoa, well, wait, it is kind of the newest member to our household family. But this is actually Carlos's little sister's dog. This is Kim's dog, Max. If you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while, then you guys know who Max is. You met him six years ago when Carlos was still living with his mom. We would see Max all the time. But it's Carlos's little sister's dog. We're watching him for the week because they're on vacation. And he's the best little boy. Oh, look how cute he is. He's watching you cut potatoes. He's the cutest little man. What are we making? Potatoes. We're gonna pop some potatoes in the air fryer. We have a little wonky meal going on. So Carlos wanted potatoes, and then I was like, babe, we have leftover stuff. So we have leftover meat. I'm gonna pop some, I just popped some jasmine rice in actually. And we have some water spinach, and then Carlos is gonna eat the meat, and I'm gonna eat fish, because I have some fish leftover that I wanna eat too. But yeah, he's cutting. I can't do, I can't do fish, that's why. Yeah, we're cutting these potatoes into rounds, and then Carlos will season them and put them in the air fryer. So he's on potato duty. Cool, are you gonna help me mix? Um, he says the seasoning gets in his hair and he doesn't like that. Nice. Yeah, he says it's expensive because he has to pay for his own groom. You have to pay for your own groom? Yeah, he says wow. that he's been teaching Pilates, but it's winter and some people don't go in the winter. Okay, Carlos is mixing up the potatoes. The potatoes. I love mixing, you guys. Like my favorite thing ever. Uh-oh, yeah, we lost a potato. We lost a potato. Gotta make sure they're all like coated, you know? Yeah, man. Oh, this smells bomb. I think at the end we should put boars and cheese on them. Oh, yeah. Parmesan. Parmesan now or at the at the end, babe? Parmesan will burn. Yeah, I know. That's why. Oh, that sounds kind of good though. Parmesan. A little bit of burnt cheese on it. Oh, okay. No. Don't think so. <laughs> do it at the end. Do it at the end. Then you can determine how burnt you want them. That looks really pretty, by the way, babe. Doesn't it smell good? That's amazing. I didn't get a chance to show you guys this, but I literally freaked out last week because Remy got me my, I don't know how to say this. Lay taking everything in her power to use it. <laughs> it's called a Lay, Lay Crusette. If you guys enjoy cooking, if you know a lot about cooking and food and all of that, this is like the pot of the pots. Like if I feel like if you have this in your kitchen, you've made it in life. And I have oh. never been able to get myself, is Maxi Poo Poo here? Maxi Poo Poo! Come here, baby. Sidetrack, I know. I was telling, oh, I did do a little stretchy stretch. Do a little stretchy stretch. He's so scared of Casper. What I was saying was, I feel like if you have this in your kitchen, it's like, you know, it's it's kind of like those like bougie things people have on their stoves. I've always wanted one. I've seen like a lot of people have them. They say like it's the best like cookware pot pan that you can buy. I don't know too much about it, but I just know that it's like the best of the best. Anyways, Remy got it for me for Christmas and I am forever grateful. I'm honestly, so, so excited. This is my first time using it. Carlos was saying earlier, it is taking everything inside my body right now to use this. I honestly didn't want to use it. I was just going to put it there for display. But honestly, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Remy. I appreciate it so much. I love you. You are the best. Oh my gosh. It's And she got like the perfect color. It matches the kitchen. It's beautiful and it's huge. So I'm using it today for water spinach, which, oh my God. I, yeah, I love it so much. I have no words. I know I'm going to get comments about this freaking sticker, you guys. Carlos and I try to take it off, but why is it so hard to remove? Okay, after I finish cooking, I think I'm gonna maybe do a blow dryer trick. Blow dry it so it gets all warm and hopefully I can peel it off. But for now, I'm leaving it on because I'm hungry and we got it. We got to make the food. But I know the sticker's there. <laughs> I am aware. We are, um, what's the word? Blanching? Blanching. Blanching. Blanching.
washing some grapes for midnight, you guys. We're almost there. New Year's is almost here for us in California. Washing grapes, eating 12 grapes under the table. I don't know if this theory is true, but better safe than sorry. Okay, babe, let's go for it. Okay, you go first. No, you go first. Let's go together. One, two, three. <gasps> oh, no. no. Nothing fell. Okay, we're good. It's ice cream cake. Eh. Oh my God. Is it good, Baba? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah? Well, Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. We're gonna eat grapes under the table, but... We didn't have grapes. This is how we're celebrating New Year's together.